What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to render in 21 by 9 ratio in Vegas Pro 16. Now whether you have a 16 by 9 clip, if it's 1280 by 720, if it's 1920 by 1080, there are solutions to get the 21 by 9 ratio. It is super simple, it's super quick to do, let's get into it. So here we are in Vegas Pro 16 and I just have this simple clip on screen at the moment, some pretty cool cinematic aerial footage. Now the first thing you want to do is head over to your project's video properties by selecting this gear up here. And what we're going to be doing, which is going to be the main thing, is adjusting the height. Now it's very important you get this right. If your video is 1920 by 1080, you're going to change it to 1920 by 816. If it's 1280 by 720, you're going to change it to 1280 by 544. Now, as you can see, mine is 1920 by 1080. Therefore, I'm going to be changing it to 1920 by 816. Then where the field order is, make sure it is set to none. As for the frame rate, it is completely optional which one you use. This clip is at 24 by default, so I'm going to leave it as it is. Then where it says full resolution rendering quality, we're going to change this to best. And then for the resample mode, you want to change it to disable resample. You can then of course head over to audio, just make sure the resample and stretch quality is set to best. Uh, you'll notice I don't have any audio, however you may have some audio, so you can just set that to best. And then once you've done these settings, what you want to do is come up to where it says template and you can call this 21 by 9 or whatever you want to and just select save template. Now this means you won't have to be entering these settings over and over again. You can just come back here, select template and it will be saved right here. Now once you've done all that, you can select apply and OK. Yes, we have got black bars on the side and this is now where we edit the footage. So what you're going to do is head over to the pan crop. Now, yes, this is also where you do lose some of your footage. By that, I mean some of the footage gets cropped from the top and the bottom. That's what you should expect if you didn't already. Now, all we're going to be doing is changing the height. So the height, of course, is 1920 by 1080. Since it's that, it's going to change to 816. Again, if you have a 1280 by 720 video, you're going to change the height to 544. So I'm going to be changing it to 816 and select enter. Now notice something has just happened and the reason that's happened is because I have lock aspect ratio checked. So just bear that in mind. I'm going to change the height back to 1920. Select enter. As you can see that is now sorted out. We've got a really nice wide screen view here. So as you can see 1920 by 816. I'm just going to exit out of it and play it through. You can see it's pretty cool. This is currently what we have. Then of course the final thing you're actually done here, you just need to do the rendering. So just double click, get your highlighted regions and select render as. So this is the one I recommend which is Magix AVC slash AAC MP4. And all we're going to do is select the one you would usually use. Now I usually use uh, the one at 60 frames per second, however this is going to be at 24 frames. So once you're here you're going to select customize template. So the first thing you're going to do where it says frame size is change this to custom frame size. Once again, we'll remind you the width is 1920 by 1080. Therefore, this height will change to 816. If your width is 1280, then your height will be 544. So bear that in mind. I've reminded you three times. So I don't want to see any comments saying it doesn't work. Change it to 816. And then the profile can be staying as main. The frame rate, of course, ours is 24 or mine is 24. The field order, again, is going to be set to none. But then the final thing you're going to be changing is the maximum and the average BPS. So the maximum you're going to be changing to 60 and the average you're going to be changing to 55. Once you've done that, head over to the audio tab. You do have the ability to change the bit rate if you would like to. However, 192 is good enough for me. Then head over to projects, make sure the video rendering quality is going to be set to best. Then you are good to go. The final thing you need to do, again, up to template, change it to whatever you want to. Then select the save template button. Again, this is going to mean we won't have to enter these settings all over again when we come to do this. From here, you can select OK. And as you can see, 21 by 9 is saved, that template. 
and we can just call this 21.9 because of course Vegas doesn't allow colons and we can select render. Now I'm going to open up that video and here is that video. So as you can see we've got the black bars, really cool, really nice effect. Now of course this isn't on YouTube just yet so what I'm going to do is bring up a YouTube video to show you how it will look. So here we go, this is Whit Lowry's music video, his latest one known as Hurt. If you haven't checked it out, I will be providing a link in the description because this guy is amazing. Anyway, you can see the way the layout is. Straight away it's got the wide screen, this is the 21 by 9 If I open it in full screen, as you can see the black bars do get inputted itself. So this is going to be the best way to do it, and that is it completed. Now of course when doing this you are cropping out the top and the bottom part of your video. What I recommend you do is head over to the slide and select move in Y only. So let's say for example the thing you want is at the bottom of your screen. You can simply drag it down and it will stay in proportion in 21 by 9 or you can drag it up. So if there's something at the top or the bottom that you actually want in it, simply adjust it like this, really simple. But don't go too high because as you can see you'll then get that. But that is it, completed. Thank you.